what's trending this week in the Vatican. Join us right now as we bring you the inside story on the top three Vatican stories of the week. Sometimes Pope Francis has to give a little bit of tough love. And this week, he met with members of a branch of the Catholic Church in India, challenging them to foster unity and keep the devil away. For over 20 years, division over liturgy has marked the Ciro Malabar Church, which is an eastern branch of Catholicism, primarily based in India. Leaders of the church traveled to Rome to meet with Pope Francis, and in his address, he directly warned them that the devil uses divisions to creep in. Lavoriamo con determinazione per costruire la comunione e preghiamo senza stancarci perché i nostri fratelli tentati della mondanità che porta a irrigidirsi e a dividere, possano rendersi conto di essere parte di una famiglia più grande, che vuole il loro bene e li aspetta. The Pope also told the leaders not to be discouraged in the face of difficulties, but to turn to God for forgiveness and mercy. In addition to addressing a larger group of the church's leaders, Pope Francis also had a private meeting with the Ciro Malabar bishops, where he greeted the new major archbishop, who was recently elected at the beginning of 2024. These meetings come just a few months after Pope Francis sent a video message to members of the Ciro Malabar Church. He told them the reasons for their divisions are only worldly and ordered them to conform to the decisions of the Holy Synod regarding the way the Eucharist is celebrated. It definitely seems like American country music star Garth Brooks has friends in high places. His music filled the atrium outside St. Peter's Basilica this past Saturday to close a whirlwind international event that brought A-listers, from musicians to Nobel Prize winners to politicians to Rome. 350 participants from around the world, including Nobel Prize winners, athletes, scientists, and government leaders, like the mayor of New York, gathered at the Vatican for the World Meeting on Human Fraternity. The event was sponsored by the Fratelli Tutti Foundation with the theme, Be Human. It included a series of meetings and roundtables on topics like education, sustainability and economy to promote international fraternity and peace. During his meeting with these leaders, Pope Francis referenced Martin Luther King Jr. and said peace will only be accomplished by focusing on the humanity of one another. Per garantire una pace duratura, occorre tornare a riconoscersi nella comune umanità e a porre al centro della vita dei popoli la fraternità. Solo così riusciremo a sviluppare un modello di convivenza in grado di dare un futuro alla famiglia umana. The meeting concluded with a special event in the portico of St. Peter's Basilica, which included dialogues from the Nobel Prize winners like Muhammad Yunus of Bangladesh, a performance by pianist and composer Giovanni Alevi, and a performance from American country music star Garth Brooks. This world will know it will not change. This was the second World Meeting on Human Fraternity, following what the Foundation says was the success of last year. You're never too young to start your political career. And Ecuador's new president made sure to meet with the head of the Catholic Church on his European tour. At only 35 years old, Daniel Noaba is the second youngest president in Ecuador's history and one of the youngest elected leaders in the world. He is touring Europe to strengthen foreign relations. His stops include several countries, Italy, France, Spain, and also the Vatican. Pope Francis met with him for 30 minutes at the Apostolic Palace. The two exchanged gifts. Noboa brought the Pope a carving of the Virgin of the Swan, created by Ecuadorian artists. In 2015, the Pope visited Ecuador, as well as other Latin American countries, such as Bolivia and Paraguay. That's it from us at Rome Reports for this week. Join us again next time as we see what's trending here in the Vatican.